New tonight, the best triathletes in the country are coming to Milwaukee this weekend for their national championship. For the first time, that competition includes a way to be more inclusive. Sarah McGrew reports. There you go, you got it. The feeling of crossing the finish line is made all the more sweet for athletes who can now compete as their authentic self, like Chip Vio. You have two options. It's always been male or female. So now it's not like, let me go ask the authorities if I belong. It just is, there's no question. It's just an automatic acceptance. Chip identifies as non-binary, has competed in 20 triathlons, and is now an official member of the USA Triathlon as a non-binary athlete. Oh, I got chills. <laughs> it feels great. I don't have that, I don't have that, that uh, restriction where I'm like, eh just doesn't feel right. It, it just feels freeing. This is the first year USA Triathlon has included a non-binary division, including at the national championships taking place here in Milwaukee. We see sport as a powerful tool for social inclusion. And when we look at our non-binary um, you know, neighbors, they're not always included or recognized for who they are. So if we can do that through sport, why, why not? And USA Triathlon has already been including transgender athletes in competition since 2017. Those athletes compete in the male and female categories depending on how they identify. This weekend, just one non-binary athlete is registered to compete, but 60 non-binary athletes are registered in the USA Triathlon membership, including CHIP. More, more will do it, I know. Since it is a new category, it'll take a few years for it to really grow. Although CHIP is not competing this weekend, they hope to be at the national championships next year. It's about being feeling included wherever you go. And then if you want to get competitive, that's fine, but I think it does, that's not the key for most people in this community. They just want to be seen. And if they happen to win a medal, great. I'm um, speaking for myself. I also do want to come in first against people, but. <laughs> Reporting in Milwaukee, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News.